Hello friends, I'm so glad you could join us today. We're going to be talking about a topic which I think is kind of fun and I hope you'll find interesting and helpful. I'm excited to share with you today five tips on how to make colorful eyeshadow more wearable and four ways to actually wear it for those of us in our 50s, 60s, or beyond. So stay with us for that. And if you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you. My name is Elise. I'm a professional working makeup artist who's passionate about helping those of us who are over 50 look our very best so we can look on the outside how we feel on the inside. And I hope you'll consider joining our family of subscribers. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and also you can hit that bell icon below the video to the right. And if you do so, you'll be notified every Thursday when we have a new video available. And I thank you so much in advance for considering that. All right, let's dive in and talk a little bit about colorful eyeshadow and how we can wear it. Do any of you remember back when you were a child opening up a new box of crayons? I remember opening up one of those boxes that held 64 crayons. And the first thing I remember is what it smelled like to open those crayons. And the second thing I remember is just being mesmerized by all those gorgeous colors. And I couldn't wait to pull out my coloring book and just dig into some of those wonderful colors. I particularly remember the purples and lavenders. And I guess my preference hasn't changed much over the years. I think for many of us, eyeshadow palettes that are colorful can sometimes have the same kind of impact on us. I can't pull my eyes away from looking at a beautiful array of colors in an eyeshadow palette. And I imagine there are a few of you out there who feel exactly the same way. And I have a few with me just for the fun of it to share with you. This is one that if you happen to watch my earlier video on my 10 favorite all matte eyeshadow palettes, this one was in it. This is a very colorful eyeshadow palette. It's made by a company in the UK called Certify. This is called their Affinity Palette. And you can see the wonderful range of colors that are available in that palette. A second one, and this may be a palette that many of you have, but it's one of my very favorites. It's made by Urban Decay and it's their Born to Run palette. See if I can get a better view. There you go. There's also just a variety of colors, which is one reason it's called Born to Run, because it was designed specifically as a travel palette, so you could have everything at your fingertips that you would need if you were traveling. But obviously, we can use it any time, any place. The third palette really defines colorful. This is from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. There were three of these large Norvina palettes that came out earlier this year. This one probably has the widest variety of colors in it, which are both matte as well as some shimmers. So there's some gorgeous colors in all of these palettes, but the trick is to find a way that we can wear them easily. So I want to share with you five tips on how to wear colorful eyeshadow and then four ways to actually do it. And I'll be demonstrating those four ways and talking a little bit more in depth about them. So here is my first tip to pair a colorful eyeshadow with a neutral eyeshadow. Because what happens is that the neutral eyeshadow really grounds the colorful eyeshadow. It makes it just a little softer looking and a little bit more wearable looking for most of us. My second tip is to choose a light to medium color to start off with. That can look a little bit softer. And then when you feel a little bit more comfortable with that, you can perhaps, if you choose, move on to some darker colors to play with. My third tip is to place the colorful eyeshadow in a very strategic spot on your eyes. And we're going to be covering some of those strategic spots momentarily. The fourth tip is to use different brushes to get different kinds of impact with your colorful eyeshadow. And let me show you a little bit about what I mean by that. If you use a brush like this, which is a little bit softer, it bends easily, and this will apply color not quite as densely or as heavily as a denser eyeshadow brush. And let me show you what I mean by a denser eyeshadow brush. So this I would consider a denser eyeshadow brush. 
it's a little bit firmer than the other brush, it's going to apply that shadow a little bit more heavily in a particular area of your eye. So that can make a big difference. The other thing that can make a difference with brushes is where you actually hold the brush. So if I hold my brush in the middle or toward more toward the end of the brush, that will give a lighter application. And if I hold it closer toward the actual brush end of the brush, I will get a heavier application. The fifth tip is something that I don't do as often as I should certainly, but it can be a lot of fun and very interesting. And that is to combine two colors and combine those two colors. That gold can soften that purple color and it can turn out to be a really wearable, softer color. So that's certainly something to consider as well. All right, let's now jump into how do you actually wear the color and where strategically do you place it? So the first place you can consider applying really beautiful, colorful eyeshadow that can look absolutely gorgeous is on your upper lash line and toward the outer area of your upper lash line. So in essence, it really becomes like an eyeliner. Now, just to let you know what I've done today is I've put a neutral color, and these neutral colors, by the way, are from my Juvia's Place Warrior II palette, which is an all matte eyeshadow palette. And I've used the two medium tone browns and beiges from that palette. So I've used that in my crease and I brought it down to the lower edge of my eye in sort of an outward seven. And I also have put a very light application, a very thin application of dark brown eyeliner on my eyes. So what I would do is this with a colorful eyeshadow. I would take that colorful eyeshadow and in this case I would use either an angled brush to do this or I'm going to use this flat brush because that covers a lot of ground pretty quickly and I really like how it applies the shadow in a more concentrated fashion. And I'm going to take a color that is a little bit brighter than I would normally choose and I'm going to put that along the outer edge of my upper lash. So what I've chosen to use today this is a palette from ColourPop called Lilac You A Lot. It's really fun. A lot of interesting colors in here, which I'll share with you. So this is what it looks like. So you have some pinks, some shimmers, you have some mattes. But I'm going to take this deepest purple color at the bottom of the palette, and I'm going to use that as an accent along my upper lash line. And excuse me for reaching over. I'm going to be using a magnifying mirror so I can see what I'm doing here. And what I'm going to do is actually just take this purple and I'm just going to apply it along the edge. Now what I can also do is if I want a little bit softer look, I'm going to wipe off my brush and then I'm just going to use the brush and I'm going to just soften the look by bringing it out. And I think you can see the difference that makes. Also, if you choose, you can make a thinner line as well, which again, wouldn't make it quite as obvious. But that little touch of purple can certainly add a beautiful touch of color. And it's not so dramatic that people are going to immediately look at your eye and say, wow, look, look at that purple on your eye. The second place you can apply it, I'm going to use the same purple just because it'll work really well, I hope. I'm going to take that same purple and I'm going to put it along the outer edge of my lower lash line. And again, I can soften it by just pulling it out across my lower lid. Or if I choose, I could certainly use a different color on my lower lid. Now, I'm just using the purple on top and bottom just because I like the way it looks together. But you could use just a color on your upper lash line or you could use just a color on your lower lash line. You wouldn't necessarily need to put the color on both your upper and lower lash line. And as you can see, I'm getting a little bit of fallout here. So I'm just going to gently dot that off. Those are two different ways you can use it. And those are probably ways that are fairly subtle. 
And there are a lot of different colors you could use along that lash line because it does look like eyeliner. For instance, I would choose to use fairly often a navy blue color because that can really make brown eyes pop. So that can be a really nice look as well. All right, the third place you can apply it is actually on the lid area. And I'm going to take a different palette. This is another one by ColourPop. It's called Blue Moon, as you can see. This is a monochromatic palette, all different shades of blue in this palette. It's really gorgeous. And I'm going to take that middle top color and I'm going to use this brush, which is not going to give me a heavy application of that color because it's soft and it's not very dense. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that color and tap it off. And then I'm going to, well, I'm going to use the other eye so maybe you can see how it looks just by itself. I'm going to put just a little bit of this color on my lid. And you can start to see it showing up just a little bit. And I, as I said, I'm using just a tiny bit and I'm just adding a little bit of that color along the lid. Now you could go obviously across the entire lid. You could put a little bit darker variety of this color on the outer part and then a lighter color in the middle. But that's certainly a way of adding just a little bit of color to give a little bit more oomph to that eye area. The fourth way you can add shadow is to put it in this outer corner and perhaps do it in a little bit heavier application. Now for that, I am going to use a flat brush like this and I'm going to take a deeper blue shade and I'm going to use the one at the very bottom. You can see that deepest blue shade at the very bottom out of this ColourPop eyeshadow palette. I am going to stretch that area just a tiny bit just so it's more taut. And I'm going to just use the flat brush to just pat on this color at the outer edge of my eye and I'm going to also bring it up slightly into this crease area as well. Now this is a little bit heavier application and obviously I need to blend that in so I'm going to take a brush that will enable me to blend that in. And as I blend it, it obviously shears out a bit and I'm blending it into that neutral color which also makes it look a little less heavy. So I'm going to blend it out and up because I want to lift that eye area. So this is another way you can apply color and you may choose not to go with as deep a color in this outer area. And I could certainly shear it out if I'd put a little bit less color on there and then used my brush to blend. But I wanted to show you just what a little bit heavier application can do. Now another place you can add color, and I'm not going to do this because to be honest, this is not my favorite way of doing it. But you can also add color on the very inner part of your lid. You could choose a very light color and then perhaps go a little bit darker in the middle part of your lid and then a little bit darker toward the edge. That can be a beautiful way of blending all of those light to dark colors together. So I wanted to give you a close-up look at how this colorful eyeshadow looked on my eyes. I've removed the fallout from underneath my eye area. This is the eye where I use the purple shadow along the top lash line as really eyeliner. And then I also use the purple along the bottom lash line as well. And I couldn't resist bringing the purple up a little bit into that crease area as well, but not quite as dramatically as I did with the blue on the other eye. And you can see the neutral color there, which tones it down just a little bit. And obviously you wouldn't have to use quite as much shadow on your brush as I did. You could use just a tiny little bit and then shear it out even more so it wouldn't look quite as heavy as it does now. So I hope this gives you a good indication of what all of those four techniques can look like. So I hope you found these tips helpful. And if you did, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. And if you know of someone else 
who might find these tips helpful, I hope you'll share this video with them as well. And in the comment section below, I'd love to hear if you enjoy wearing colorful eyeshadow and how you wear it, or maybe what colors you particularly love to wear as colorful eyeshadow. Again, I thank you so much for giving me the gift of your time today. I hope you'll join us next Thursday for another video. And until then, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Stay happy and healthy. Take care.